What's going on, my YouTube brothers from Nother Mothers? It's your long lost friend, Andy from Sutton Mass. How are you? We got a little layout update of my own here. Okay, so here's what we've been up to. A couple trains running on the top side, but I don't want to have any running on the bottom side because what I've been doing is building a wall. I guess it's uh, like me and Trump. So here's, here's what I come across is I have a two-level layout, as you can see, someday to be joined by a helix. And uh, so upper level, lower level, and I really, really had, you know, to figure out how to break it up. So this is what I did. On this corner, at least. I'll keep bringing it around, bringing it around. Back over to the trailer park where I closed up the AC unit, all of the above, the industrial area, so. Uh, we're coming along. I've uh, got caught up with work and other things, so I'm gonna start to really push it down here again now that we're coming into the fall. But here it is, plain and simple. Try and get it down the end. One inch foam board, extruded foam board. We all see it at Home Depot or many places. One inch foam board. Uh, glued and caulked in very nicely with uh, construction adhesive that is made for foam board. So I brought that all the way across. And then the facing is notch, N-O-C-H. So uh, hold on one second and I'll go get that. Once again, this is the product I use, but do yourself a favor. If you do use it, make sure you buy enough. I bought three of these at a train show last last winter. They come in packets. They're, I don't know, two feet long, three feet long, what, what have you. And uh, they're pretty flexible material. Some pretty cool stuff. It, it uh, Very flexible, rubber-backed, all of that jazz. And uh, I bought three of them, and I ended up needing about seven of them. So I couldn't find them anywhere on eBay. So I had to go on Amazon, believe it or not, and uh, pick them up all the way from Germany. So it took me a couple weeks to get them before I could do my wall. Okay, hold on. I'll show you what I use for spray. Somebody in the YouTube world... Uh, when I was doing some backdrop cutout cardstock buildings, I might have even asked the guy that I bought them from, what, what do I use for adhesive? Try this out if you're using cardstock buildings or uh, this product I just talked about, 3M Super 77 Spray Adhesive. Well, let me tell you something, you better have your A-game together because if you spray the foam board with that and you spray the rock with that, when you put those two together... It's like doing countertops. I used to do countertops for a living. And uh, it is instantaneously. Get yourself a little roller and uh, just be behave and uh, you'll be good. All right, so back to the wall. That's really all I wanted to show you. I think it's going to break up the transition from the first level to the second level. And my next step is to make a bunch of rocks and, uh, you know, the rubber forms we all have. And stick them all over the place. Then I'm going to fill it in with sculpt the mold. And that will allow me to do some uh, ground cover and bring that all in on that whole corner. And I just want to show you one other thing. On some of the seams, it's almost impossible to get perfect. So I'm going to show you an imperfection. Can you see it right there? After I butted it together, you know, the seam wasn't quite right. Because I, you know, the... The curve is going around the curve here, and I'm also trying to, you know, go up and down inclines, but if you can see it, which you can if you look, because I love to show my imperfections, they're really hard to see. So there you go. All right, we'll leave it at that. Building a wall, I guess, like me and the president, and uh, do a return on this end. I'll work it in, down and around, 
Did a lot of clean up and organizing down here too. You guys don't want to watch a video about that. I'm going to uh, work my way up the top. And then uh, also a little, little return here. You can see the different color on that one right there. That's a perfect example. But I'm going to have ivy. I might even ask Dave how he did those pillow pillow bushes on his wall there, David Crooked River. And uh, you just bring it right along and you can make some serious time. And I didn't go any further because ultimately that is where my helix will be. All right, let me see if I can spin this thing. You guys can see what I look like for the first time. All right. What's up, my YouTube brothers from Nether Mothers? How are you? Andy from Sutton. Peace out, brothers.